In this game, written by Graham Curling, you have to guide your rats using the 9 and 0 keys. The rats hold a bucket, and you have to catch falling bricks in this bucket to build up a wall. The points you score increase as the wall gets higher, and the bricks change colour. Six catches in a row will gain you a bonus, which is added to your score at the end of the game. Six misses in a row cost you a life, you have five lives at the start of the game. There are 300 bricks dropped in all during each run. The game ends whether you lose all your lives or all 300 bricks have been dropped. So, typed this in this morning, took about half an hour. The lovely rat catch title looks really pretty, is a pain to type in. It's the graphics characters over three lines and it's really hard to line them all up. I do not recommend this. You've got user-defined graphics. There are six, there are eight of them we use, but I don't think we use one of them, which is rather odd. But anyway, any key to continue. This is my third attempt. The first attempt, I got a score of 280 odd. That was by Pancakes. This is the high score was 1780. It was the second go by Oric. And let's have a third go. This one is for YouTube. Any key to start. So oh, here are the rats. Whenever you catch a brick in the bucket, you get a nice little beep. Oh. So six, six catches in a row gives you a bonus. Six misses in a row cost you a life. To start it off, it's pretty nippy. There we are. So, bottom of the screen, the bricks are in red. Oh, that's a miss. And now on the second row, we've moved up slightly. And as you moved up, you get a little less time to react. Six in a row, I'm good at this. Oh, beep, boop, that's a miss. And it all depends on where the bricks and sometimes you are not going to get there in time. Sometimes you get there in time and you're just one character off, which is quite frustrating. But it's good fun. Other things I notice, it's the usual ZX printer, which is a bit hit and miss. There's also a line at the, at the end of the thing where they're trying to sort out the beeps. And some of the beeps are quite clever. They do it through a data array, which is quite nice. And at the end of it, they I think the extra life routine, they sort of look like they're going to do that. They say restore 7200, which sets itself up for some reads, and then there is no line 7200 in the program. But when I was the sign, oh, we want to sign now. Oh. Bosh. Oh, that's a miss. Catch. Miss. 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 One. Two. Whoop. Miss, miss, three misses in a row. What, four misses in a row? Five in a row. That's a death and a tombstone. But for a game written in basic, there's no machine code in this. It's pretty nippy. I'm actually rather like, oh, miss, I'm rather liking this. You've got colours, you've got instructions, you've got a little bit of graphics. It's fast. It's a little bit flickery, but that's to be expected, really. Down to the second row of Cyan. Three in a row. Four. Oh, bonus. Miss. 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 Catch. I do not see how in hell you are going to catch green or magenta bricks. Those are when you get towards the top of the screen. So after Cyan, you go to yellow. And after yellow, you go to magenta. And you can see here, it's already fast. Oh, there we are. Catching any of these bricks will be a bonus. Oh. The life lost. One, two. The tombstone's a nice touch. Three, four. That's a miss. That's a miss. That's a miss. And a miss. I'm actually not doing this on purpose. I'm just trying my best, but it's quite tricky. One, two. I think once you get a complete row here, we go into magenta land. So I think the key thing is with misses is try not to get too far out, away from the middle.
I think one more brick and we're magenta. No, we've just got another magenta. Two. Miss, miss. Catch. Will we even see green bricks? Can we survive to the end of the game? I don't think we will. That's a stroke of luck. Yes! Green bricks! And I've lost a life. Not many bricks left now. This is... Oh! Game over. Higher school name, please. Obviously, the best rat of all rats, Lord Bronk. So, that was Rat Catch. Thank you for watching.